what we have been all waiting for. The Sharp A80 versus the Philips 3256. Let us see what the claims are for these two brands and how it performs in the reality. We have categorized all the problems of the indoor air. The first section is dust. Dust are of two types. One is a coarse particle. The second is the tiny particulate matter PM2.5. Then the pollen and the pretender and the smoke. For removing these pollutants, both these brands are offering a series of filters. Let us see what the, what the Sharp has to offer, the FUA80E. It has a combination of the carbon and the pre-filter. As you can see here, the HEPA, the high efficiency particle arrester. Similarly, the Philips also has a pre-filter, separate pre-filter, which is which can take care of the coarse particles. The carbon filter, the carbon filter seems to be better here because of honeycomb character. Third is the combination. So this is not entirely a HEPA. This is a combination. This has both the filters. This has the HEPA as well as the beta shield. We will not talk about the beta shield in this section. Let us talk about only the HEPA portion in this section. Now since both of them are offering HEPA, how do we know that which of these is better? There are two things by way of which we can check the performance of the HEPA. The first thing is the surface area of the HEPA. The second thing is the clean air delivery rate or what you can say is the air changes per hour. On my left hand I have the Philips AC3256 HEPA and on my right hand I have the Sharp fu 80 HEPA. As you can see the thickness of the Philips HEPA is definitely a little higher but it could probably be because of the beta shield layer which is already there in it. So let us not consider the thickness of the HEPA but if you look at the density or the number of folds and even the size of the HEPA definitely sharp scores higher sharp scores higher plus now if you see the number of folds the number of folds or the density of the HEPA translates into the size of the HEPA so in one cycle it can probably take more number of particles so it will be able to clean the room far much faster than the Philips AC 3256 so if I look at the number of folds, it is definitely nearly 35 to 50% higher. The number of folds are higher. So, if you open it, it will definitely be bigger in size. Now that we have seen that the surface area of the Sharp FU80E HEPA is higher, let us see how the CADR for both these models are. AC3256 has a CADR, the clean air delivery rate of 367 cubic meter per hour and it is recommended for a 800 square feet area. On the other hand, the Sharp FU80E has a CADR of 480 cubic meter per hour and it is recommended for a 600 square feet area. The translation of CADR for a normal usage is that the number of air changes that it can happen on a particular room size. If you look at the chart below, we have considered a 9 feet ceiling height and if you can see the calculations, the number of air changes for a 200 square feet area. In the case of Sharp, it has got 9 air changes in 1 hour and in the case of AC3256, it has just a 6.5 air changes in hour which is about 30% lesser than the Sharp. Similarly, for other room sizes also, it is much much lower. The CADR is important because the presence of these particles, the PM2.5 and the gaseous particles will remain there for a longer duration of time. It means that since we breathe about 1 litre of air every 7 seconds, so it will remain in the air for a longer time, means that if we are still breathing the pollutants. Now we go to the second section of the problems, which are the chemicals and gases. So let us see how each of these brands behave in treating the chemicals and gases of the indoor air. In the case of Philips, it has a fairly good honeycomb carbon filter which will predominantly absorb the gases when it passes through the purifier. So the performance will primarily depend on the volume of air which is drawn through the unit. So the chemicals and the gases, if they are drawn through the unit, they will get absorbed in this filter. Sharp uses plasma cluster ion technology to eliminate 
the chemicals, gases and the VOCs not only from the air but also from the surface. Let us see how plasma cluster performs. To demonstrate plasma cluster, remind it to demonstrate plasma cluster, we will not be using the HEPA filtration system, but we want to show you, even without the filter, how the gases and chemicals are eliminated. We will be using ammonia to demonstrate the performance of the plasma cluster in eliminating gases and chemicals. So ammonia, as we know, is the strongest of all smell and it is formed in sweat, cigarette and as well as public urinals. We will be pouring in ammonia in a small bowl here. So how will you know that we have actually poured in ammonia? You can even think that we have poured in water. So this is a litmus paper. So as, when, as soon as you put the litmus paper on the ammonia, it has turned blue. So if we match this, it is, it is ammonia here. As you can see, household ammonia. So it matches with this color. So this is actually ammonia. We have a volunteer now. I will request her to get blindfolded. So what we are trying to do now is that we will pour in ammonia on this paper. So this is ammonia. So as soon as I take it. So I'm sorry, this is very, very dangerous. So now we will turn on the machine. We would like to tell you that plasma cluster works in three ways. One is, it is an active purification system. It goes out and removes the pollutants. Second, it destroys the chemicals. Unlike absorbing the chemicals which happens in the other case. Third is, it works not only on the air, it works even on the surface. One more point which I want to highlight is that we are doing it closer to the machine to ensure that we are able to see the performance of the plasma cluster much faster. Similarly, uh, when plasma cluster works, it can work throughout the room. So as you can see, there is no sensation. So the smell has been eliminated. Now we come to the third section of the indoor air quality problems, which are the biological contaminants or the infectious substances. In the case of sharp FUA80E, the plasma cluster active purification method goes out and is able to break the DNA of the microorganisms. Plasma cluster, let me tell you, it mimics nature. There is nothing artificial in it. It uses the same method of purification as is used in nature, mother nature. We will not be able to show you or demonstrate you how it is able to kill the microorganisms or the virus like H1N1, but Sharp has got certifications from 22 globally renowned organizations to prove the efficiency and safety of the plasma cluster and elimination of these microbes, not only from the air, but also from the surface. The particle sizes of all these biological contaminants are generally lower than 0.3 microns. They are in the range of 0.01 micron to up to 0.3 microns, the virus being the smallest. So Philips, on the other hand, they are using the Vita Shield filter. So when it comes to a filter, as you know, it is a passive purification method. So whatever air is being drawn through the purifier, if there are virus in that volume of air, it will be able to trap those virus or fungal particles in the Vita shield layer. So it means that the virus, if they are trapped in these filters, they will be alive. So they can actually multiply in these filters. So it is like you are trapping the virus in a filter inside your home. So you make your choice whether you want a purifier which traps the virus inside the machine or a product which eliminates the virus not only from the air but also from the surface to in each and every part of your room. We come to the fourth category of our indoor air quality problems which is static charge. 
if there is a static charge presence in the room, the tiny particles will get attracted into the place where static charges are. Very simple. If the curtains can attract our hairs in the presence of static charge, it can even attract the tiny particles. Especially at night while they are sleeping, when there is a friction between uh, the hair and the pillow, the static charge is very high. In the environments, static charge is very very common. So let us see how each of these products is able to behave when there is a presence of static charge. To show that, we have a static charge generator and we have a bottle with some plastic thermocol balls. So we are generating static charge here. So if you can see, there is actually no action. So the similar thing will happen in our indoor air. So all these, wherever there is static charge, the tiny particles will get attracted and the Philips air purifier is not, it will not be able to eliminate them. We are generating static charge again for sharp and we are turning on the machine here. As you can see, gradually the static charge is getting eliminated. There is a lot of doubt in people's mind whether plasma cluster is ozone free or not. There are some kind of people who are propagating the fact that plasma cluster creates ozone. It is not. There is no relation with plasma cluster and ozone, so which is also mentioned in our catalog. Plasma cluster is something which is not Sharp's technology, it is nature, which Sharp has adopted and has named it plasma cluster. If you can see from this chart right now that the presence of the positive and negative charged particles are very very high when you go to a very natural environment like a forest or a park. That is the reason we feel very fresh and we are able to breathe very easily when we go to a forest. But when we compare that kind of a breath with our normal indoor environment, the breath becomes quite heavy and we find it very difficult to breathe because of lack of ventilation, these positive and negative charge get destroyed. Sharp plasma cluster creates the same level of those positive and negative charges so that freshness is recreated in an indoor closed environment. Whereas in the case of the Philips 3256, it will be recycling the same stale and stuffy air by removing some of the pollutants from the air that we are breathing. So now to summarize it, Philips definitely is a good product, but when you compare it with the Sharp A80, it is not at par but it's definitely better than the most of the other brands which are currently available in the market. It has got some useful cosmetic features like the PM2.5 sensor which is very useful to have and it has a filter life indicator. So once the filter life is almost coming to an end, it will indicate you to tell you that the filter needs replacement. In the case of Sharp, we recommend that the, once the airflow airflow drops by nearly 60%, that is the time you should replace the filter. So once you start using it, you will actually get used to the airflow. So you will actually come to know that it is time to replace the filter. Thank you for watching. This video will be able to make the right decision for buying the correct air purifier for your loved ones.